So Susan, thank you so much for coming in today. Really appreciate it. So My pleasure. Can I just ask you where you grew up and where you went to school? Uh, well, I was uh, born in Mayfield West, just up the street from where we used to live, actually. Okay. And um, um, my father died when I was 12. And uh, in those days, there was no um, things to look after. My mother had uh, nine month old twins and two other, two, so there was five of us all together. So the, old, the, the oldest ones went to Masonic School okay. in Parramatta. Borkham Hills actually yeah. and I was there for a few years and then come, come back home and I still lived at Mayfield West. So when you said you were born at Mayfield, were you born at the Mater? No, school? no. Oh. Uh, in Baruda Street there was like a little nursing, well uh, nursing, where, where babies were born. Nurse Wells her name was and it's still there but my mother walked up and walked back you know. Uh, no it wasn't the Mater um, and it's still there so I think it's like a uh, accommodation now. So yes, yeah, so I've always lived at, um, in Mayfield West. Yeah. And so you went to school? Whereabouts? In, in um, Masonic School at Borkham Hills. Okay. That was, that was um, my, um, not primary school, my uh, first, second and third year. Yeah. yeah. So and you went from Mayfield, Sydney, and then when did you come back to Newcastle? I came back when I was about 16, yeah, yeah. and then got a job at um, Stewart's and Lloyd's. Yep. And uh, and then I oh, did other things and and then uh, I think my mother must have paid for me to go to Anne Fenley's modelling school, and which I did. And I don't remember. I I didn't pay for it. So Mum must have done that. And um, and so sort of that that sort of started a ball rolling, you know, with modelling and stuff like that. And and then I must have got this job through through Anne at uh, the store, and that was uh, quite quite funny really but I did a lot of modeling in between as well with other places and um so how old were you when you did the course with Anne? well I would, I would have been about 17 I think and then probably like that nothing much happened until probably after I married and had children and then I was able to do um these extra jobs while the kids were at school or whatever and um so there was quite a few modeling jobs too for little uh, local shops in the area, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, so I did all that, and but, but was a mother, basically a mother, yeah. and uh, yeah. So um, and then with the store came along, um, that was very interesting. It was very interesting, and um, we used to do a lot of go to Channel Three, NBN Channel Three, and do um, little modelling stints, and it was so funny. I used to think it was so funny because um, they never had any carpet on the floor, so when we all walked in, it was clunk, clunk, you hear the clunk, clunk, clunk of the, the shoes. It was really funny, but that's what they did in those days, yeah. you know. So in at the store? No, it was, it was at NBN. NBN. We used to go to NBN to do that, you know. And, uh, yeah, so it was quite interesting to see all these people and met a lot of interesting people at, the, at Channel 3. Yeah. Mm. So what's your earliest memories of the store, even before your sort of association modeling for the store oh well I remember remember well I just remember not going in oh going in there for the Christmas decorations the windows and that was lovely and uh, I used to go with mum so you have your tokens to go and get butter and all sorts of little things you know it was very it was very hard in those days especially with my mum you know because we weren't very we weren't very rich at all but um, I remember that and I remember um, the baker coming down the street and um, things like that and it was it was quite an, well just all we remembered yeah. you know it was just part of our life and I think Mayfield yeah so the Baker covered apparently a lot of suburbs oh, yeah. and Mayfield, well, Mayfield was a fair way away from where the store was you know. but do you remember people talking about the divvy oh yes the divvy that was very important especially to my mum because it was enabled it with the with the children enabled her to buy certain things for school and stuff like that so it was very important to her yeah. and to most people I think the divvy mm. yeah I look forward to that I think it was twice a year the divvy mm. and they'd have like big sales oh yes monster big, sales oh yes whether they were or not who knows but no it was uh, very important to a, a lot of people the divvy mm. so yeah what was your association with the store um, how did that come about the modeling 
It was um, basically through Anne Fenley, really. And they used to have lots of parades at the store um, each season, I think, probably, summer and even three, the four seasons, probably. And it was a big thing because it would draw people into the store and hopefully, you know, buy things. Yeah. And some of the dresses were so funny, you know, they were like, um, so, they were so cheap. Well, according to us now. Yeah. But I mean, Osti dresses were very important in those days because they were washing, washing weed and have to iron them and stuff like that. But, uh, and we used to wear them and they, <laughs> they looked all right, I suppose. But um, and we all we, when we did the model, we always always had to have our own accessories. There was no add-ons. We had our own earrings and necklaces and shoes and whatever. So it was, and there was quite a few of us there that used to do it. So we're we're a little bit of a, a group in those days, you know. And we were talking about the hair before, so you can't recall doing like your hair. You think I, maybe someone? I, no, I don't. I don't remember having my hair done except that photo there, yeah. which I don't even remember that. Because uh, there was none of that. We did our own makeup. We did everything. Mm. Bought our own stockings, and you know, it's all very um, insular, really. You yeah. had to do everything yourself. Yeah. But I don't. I think I can't remember doing that hair. <laughs> and the seventies was an era of very well groomed hairstyles, wasn't oh, it? So, dear, oh dear, you know. well, My hair was very long in those days too. But uh, yeah. yeah. So now we did our own everything, you know, yeah. and then progressed from the store. Uh, when Charlestown, not Charlestown Square, when Garden City opened, there was a lot of um, parades there, and I knew the manager of the of that area, and so we did parades there. I organised a lot of parades there, so it's been part of my life for a, quite a long time. Yeah, it's all over now. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, so you were face of the store in 1979. Mm. So I don't know how that, that. It was. It was the funniest thing because. They sort of said, oh, we want you to do this. And again, there was no makeup, there was no hair. And I remember just pulling my hair up in a, into a, a French roll and that was it. I, I didn't have any styling at all, you know, and what you see is what I did. It was, and, uh, but it was, it was fun and I went through about two different families, two different husbands and two, four different kids. <laughs> And they'd say, oh, yes, this is your husband and this is your children. And it was like, oh, hi. And, you know, that was it after that. And yeah. uh, and then, of course, it got onto television too. It was a big thing on television. Oh, it was oh. on the back of a bus. It was on the, on the back of a bus. I, yeah, so I saw that a few times. And I think it was on the store windows too at one stage. Yeah. And newspapers, yeah. great big newspaper ads. It was just, and it went on for quite a few months actually. And uh, it, was, it was very interesting. What sort of response did you get from your family and friends? Well, they they just couldn't believe it, you know, like, how can you, how can you be doing that? Yeah, they'd say, the store's not fooling to me. Yes, the store's not fooling. Or have a spring fling, they'd say. But it was, not, it was sort of like, you know, they just, it was just normal. Yeah, yeah, it was just like a normal thing. She's doing that again, off she goes and, you know. <laughs> And what about strangers? Were you recognised? I was. It was the weirdest thing. And even up until a couple of years ago, it was the strangest thing. I was at Charles, Charlestown Square once. This lady said, were you, were you the store lady? And I thought, oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, so I did get recognised quite a lot. Yeah. So, so, yeah, that's quite a big campaign, isn't it, for the store? It was a big campaign year. and must have cost a lot of money. I mean, I might add, I didn't get paid that much either, really. Not like you would today. I was going to ask the yeah, that question. No, I used to go to Anne, and then two or three months later, I might have got it. You know, it was, it was a bit rigmarole there, but no, I got paid. It was all right. Yeah. You know, it wasn't big bickies, but it was quite nice. A bit of extra pocket money for for me. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And and I guess that was like just a couple of years or a year before the store closed. So, yeah, but see, then the you know, Charlestown Square opened, mm -hmm. and Garden City opened. And it was just, we used to, we did parades at Charlestown Square quite often. But then that was it, you know, yeah. just, that, was the, that was the end of the store. So were those parades promoting the store? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you'd go off site to other places. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was, a, no, it was a big thing really. But with the store, it was, it was always in the store and um, 
uh, there was probably about four or five of us that used to yeah. rotate a little bit. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and then, you know, sort of closed. So the store at Charlestown was pretty large, wasn't it? It was a big store. It was um, where... It, oh, I don't know, oh, Hilltop Plaza, that's really? what it was. was the whole top of that, yeah. uh, the car park, and then the yeah, it, it was it covered the whole area there. Well, now there's restaurants and all sorts of things there now. But, um, no, it was pretty big. Yeah, 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 I just think your your import and association is right at the... The decade of retail sort of exploding. Yes, yes, and, it was. Um, we used to get so many people that used to come and watch the parades. So they must have got a lot of um, sales from it. They must have because, um, you know, we used to do it all the time. Yeah. It was, um, we used to have perhaps we'd have uh, 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock and then, and then uh, Saturday morning. So we, I don't think they had night time. I'm not sure about that. But, um, yeah, so it was a big thing, yeah. you know. And, and so you were able to manage this with the children? Like you're saying, you had a family at this yeah. time, so just yeah. sort of juggling. It was all right because it was during the, the school time or whatever. Yeah. It never interfered with um, – I never had to drop them off anywhere. So, no, you know. No. Well, maybe if we just talk about the image behind you. Yeah, yeah. so describe that image. So and that was – I think that was must have been autumn because that dress, I think – was like um, a, vi a viella, I used to call them viellas, which was a warm fabric. Mm. But they had all this up here too, all this fine looking stuff. It would, be a, it would be a duster's yeah. nightmare, wouldn't it, really? The See 60s. all the people there and they're just watching and, and then we would have done that a couple of times a day. And here's, oh, I wonder who that is. Mm. She's commentating, see? She's describing my, my outfit, this one, just here. I can't think who that. She might have been someone who worked at the store, I'd say, that girl. I can't think who it could put. Oh, and that's a hat on my head too. It's not on my hair. It's a hat. <laughs> I'm glad someone you must have, that out. Someone, must have, I just someone must have stuck that on my really head. It looks like big hair. <laughs> <laughs> it does. No, it's a hat, like a little trilby sort of type thing. It is too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's good. Now, what about these images here? They look as if they're a little bit later. Yes, have I got any dates on those? Uh, but these would have been... The very later ones. These would have been done... Um, oh, that's on the TV commercial. Yes, TV... Oh, there we go. 1979. Mm. 79. Um, yeah, these were TV commercials. And uh, we did quite a, quite a few of those. As you can see, my hair was short there and now it's long. Mm. But we did our own hair all the time, you know. Used to, I remember I used to have great big huge rollers to get, get it going. And, but the clothes were very, um, they weren't very expensive, but they were, see, these, were, or these would have been all wash and wear, no um, ironing. And same with the little pantsuit thing there. So everything was sort of very easy care. No linens or anything like that, I imagine. And but I guess it was the era when a lot of women started working. Probably, you yes. know, full time, yes. and yeah. um, they needed clothes that were easy, easy to, to look after. Look after. Mm. Mm. Not yeah. like the linen. <laughs> no, gosh, <laughs> ever. Um, yeah. So, what about this image here? I have a feeling that that was up at the um, Charlestown Square. That one. And that looked like winter, see, um, velvet pants and um, a little jacket of some description. Oh, this is, these would be the Osti. You mean okay. Hilltop Plaza? Hilltop Plaza, yes. Yeah. And uh, this lady, she used to, I'll think of her name in a minute, but she used to be the compere all the time. Uh, Nancy, the Nancy, Nancy, her name was. And she, she modelled, but she also did. Um, and shoes, see the big clonky shoes? Well, they're back, aren't they? You know, yeah. a lot. I don't think the dresses will ever come back somehow. But uh, look, honestly, it was it was fun. Mm -hmm. You know, we get to wear some nice clothes sometimes, and sometimes mm -hmm. not. But yeah. and see, look, we've got um, ten ninety nine for the skirt and fourteen ninety nine for the top. And see, they're, they're my own shoes. Same thing today. Amazing, isn't it? How is. things happen. But. Uh, 
Yes. Things come back in fashion, don't they? Yeah. And these girls used to, they used to um, model quite a lot. And this was, oh yeah, this was um, another little shop just near the, near the store in town called Little Paris. So I used to do a bit of modelling for them. But I, I, she's still my very best friend. Awesome. But then I did, we did, um, um, I, I, went, I went into the Miss Australia Quest as well did and you? put us into all that. In Finley? Yes. Yeah. And I think there might be some things in there with the Miss Australia Quest. But I'm not, yes. So what, what did that involve? Was it quite a process? What year was that? 64. Oh, my goodness. And so was that photo taken in Newcastle? Yes, yes. That you, these you all, and, and see, Anne Fenley would have organised all that. She would have organised that. There was, the, there was a ball at Cessnock Memorial Town Hall and we had, oh, that's right, we had um, the, some fellows from the uh, RWF base that used to come and, and escort us. <laughs> and she, that, she, she was the winner, that girl there. I can't remember her name. Lorraine. Lorraine Shortland. Yeah. Wow. <gasps> so they had like a regional selection. They like did. People yes. from the region and yes. then they'd select from that group. Mm. And, and then she probably would have gone on to New South Wales or something like that, but yeah. I never made it. Did you, <laughs> but that was fun did anyway. It too. was interesting. You know, we went, did you just go in at the once? Oh, yeah. yeah. We went, we also had, had cocktail parties and it was very, very posh. And these young boys from the yard AAF used to come down to score. Oh, it was. Oh, here we are. Look, there, there I am. I'm winning. Oh. NIB with the store. That was through this. No, that was just NIB. That's right. So tell me about Anne Finley. Oh, she was a, she was a wonderful lady. She, I don't think she ever married, um, but she was um, instrumental in a lot of girls getting into modelling. There wasn't a lot of modelling really in those days. And uh, she did a lot. And then I think there was another agency opened up, um, Shays, I think, and that sort of took a lot away from Anne. But she was a lovely person. She really was. And she was in just institution in Newcastle. Everyone knew Anne. She was, you know, she went to all the openings and, you know, she was one of those um, people that was interesting and and um, everyone liked her too. She's a very nice person. Mm. And, and so the girls that worked um, in the modelling scene, were they not all closely? came from Anne? I don't think. I don't know. No. How, I don't know how that happened, but mm. it, but sort of a lot of it was just sort of oh she she looks good. I'll use her, you know that sort of thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, um, but I don't think Anne Anne used a lot of some of the other girls that I um, was used to model with. Nineteen sixty. Oh goodness, that's when I used to work at Stewarts and Lloyds. <laughs> Have, yeah. Well, I would have been only about sixteen. <laughs> Look at the hair on this one. See this one here. It was a beehive and it went up and up and up and up and to have it, to get rid of it, I had to get in the shower and oh, it was just because it was all spray. What do you think you got out of um, that, that period? I got a lot of friendships, yeah. you know, a lot of friends and, uh, um, you know, uh, meeting different people. Um, it was just a different part of my life. But and and like you said, it was a different era where you had you did everything yourself basically. Where you today, did. well today you'd have the makeup artists, you have the hairdressers, you had all sorts of people, you know. But um, no, it was it was a good time. I enjoyed it. Yeah. And what about were there events at the store that you went to? What the socials or anything like that? Yeah, oh, yeah, we we our there. wedding reception was at the store the in the room. Shortland room. In room. Oh, gee, that came to me yeah. <laughs> straight away. <laughs> um, they had a big area off the side of the store there that um, you had re receptions and conferences and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it was it was the place to be. Had the reception at that at the store there. Yeah. It was a pretty big institution, really. Yeah. When you think about it. And can you remember who did the catering there at all? No. No. Gosh, that was fifty odd, fifty four years ago, love. Kind of skill question. Fifty four years ago. Like, I don't remember the caterer in my head. Like someone said, Matt Baines. Oh, there you go. And he also did the Princeton the too. The Princeton, that's the right. Princeton, yeah. At Hamilton, is that yeah. Hamilton? Yeah. yeah. 
So there you go. <laughs> Matt a little Bain. bit of trivia. That would have been, he would have been the only fellow that would have um, catered. Yeah. Because it was a it was a big reception place, wasn't it? Oh, it was. Yeah. 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 Mm. So is there any anything lasting, anything else you'd like to say before we wrap up? Anything? Mm, really? Oops. It's just been an, uh, an interesting time in my life. Yeah, oh, I enjoyed every time, every moment of the store. And, of course, going back to when I was, I was a kid too with my mother and it was very important. Um, yeah, what, what you think about the demolition of the building. Oh, I don't know if you've been in. Oh, we, we saw it the other day and... I was a bit distressed. I thought, yes, I thought, gee, you know, the the front of it could have been saved perhaps, but apparently not. Mm. But it's gone. It's completely gone. And it was such an institution, mm. wasn't it? You know, when you think about, when you start oh, thinking yeah. about what it was like to some people, some older, like my mother and even people before that, and to see it gone, it's very sad, yeah. I think. And I think like the photographs and your association like with the store being the, the face of 1979, it's a lovely legacy for your family. Do you think so? I don't think that. I think they think it's just straight over their heads. They don't. I, I bring that out and they sort of look at it. And they, oh, it's, it's been very interesting though, Anne. Thank you.